Hello, it's Wednesday the 7th. I'm FX Plu and this is the Market Brief. So Bailey's been on in his first interview since the MPC cut rates. He confirmed that he is keen to complete his second term. His tenure has been widely criticised and there have even been calls to remove him from his post, despite dealing with Brexit, the Covid pandemic, uh, trust and quartings, budgetary madness and, of course, raging inflation. The MPC was the first to raise rates, but they have been criticised for raising rates too slowly with 25 basis point rate hikes throughout the cycle, where many thought inflation was falling too slowly. It'll be interesting to see if the new government does move ahead with plans for Treasury representation on the MPC, and if they do, what effect that may have on Bailey. Rachel Reeves has been on. Uh, despite campaign claims that Labour would not raise taxes, she has already warned of the need to raise tax revenue to bolster the public finances, um, where she has naturally blamed the Tories at every opportunity for this. She has not yet confirmed which taxes may be affected. Yesterday, she refused to rule out a rise in capital gains tax in her autumn budget. Over in the US, Fed members have been out defending their decision not to uh, cut rates at the last meeting after the dollar has had a fairly volatile few days of trading. When the Bank of Japan raised rates last week, this triggered a few issues for the carry traders. Uh, the carry trade is where a trader will borrow in yen at low cost due to their super low interest rates in Japan. The trader then leverages up and invests in higher yielding assets like US stocks, like Apple and Nvidia. Um, and then where the Japanese rate hike uh, made those loans more expensive, so equities need to be sold in order to fund the yen-based loans. Any equity sell-off can put the more highly leveraged traders into a margin call, and to settle that, they need to unwind some of their holdings and sell more equities. Roll that up at scale and that can trigger a run on the market, which we've seen. The dollar sell-off is a byproduct of the dollar-yen trades necessary to pay back and fund the yen-based loans in the correct currency. But then, on top of all that, chuck in a win for hashtag Team Under and the disappointing employment data, and the market is clamouring for a Fed reaction. You can just picture all these big, burly Wall Street traders crying for Powell to give them a little cuddle and kiss better the hurty bits. Just so happens that their hurty bits are million dollar portfolio losses and the prospects of a much lower bonus this year. Ouchies indeed. Personally, I hope that we don't see it. Uh, the Fed has never cut rates with GDP data at current levels, and output is reflecting the economy is still forging ahead. Um, inflation is still falling slowly, and wage inflation, wage, wage inflation rather, uh, that does remain elevated um, without the need of a rate cut throwing petrol on those embers. However, the Fed will have a better idea of the Q3 data by their September meeting, so I guess we'll see. Meanwhile, in the market this morning, we kick off from about 127 against the dollar, 116.40 against the euro, and euro dollar is around 109.15 on the open today. That's it from me. Have a great day. If you do not have a clue, then just tweet through and ask FX Blue.